Sunday night. Ooh. Welcome to the Garage Pop Sports and Entertainment with your favorite partners, favorite partners. I am the Funky Militant, Adar Jones. And as always, I got the tribe with me. Yeah, yeah. So let the people know who you are. Boy, my mental up in this pace. D Mac back better than ever. Come on. Yes, indeed. And we're here each and every Sunday night from 6 to 7 Central Standard Time. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And check out our website, thegarageapt.com. Be sure to download the app. 92 KELZ. Go to your Google Play or your App Store. Type in 92 KELZ and push play. Get new music, new artists, new sound. And of course, on Sunday nights, you get us, the Garage Park. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us. And we appreciate that. Shout out to everybody checking us out on Facebook Live. It will also be on YouTube later. We got some good stuff coming up, man. We appreciate everybody who's been holding it down for us. We got about two episodes left in the year. We got this one and next week. I guess so. That's, I guess that is pretty much a big deal. Pretty much is a big deal. It's not really, but okay. That's just what people say. Well, it's not a big deal. They're being a, a decade? Yes. <laughs> you know how many decades there have been? Huh? Know how many decades there have been? Well, of course. No one knows. So, which one is bigger, a century or a decade? I mean, not as far as I it was, was in, say, not, not in, in, not in duration, not in duration. That's Texas. By definition. Wait, 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 wait. Now, let me make this clear. I wasn't asking about in duration. I wasn't asking about in duration, meaning. Which one do you feel Are like you really means more? It? What happened in 2000? What happened in 2000? Yes. Uh, the president was impeached? No. That was, that was 98, wasn't it? I don't know what happened in 2000. People freak the f- out. Oh, yeah, for the Y2K stuff? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you have it. That's all I have to say. And then they woke up and the next morning was like, I woke up the next morning and was like, Oh, you was wor- you was scared? No, I just woke up the next morning it was like the world didn't end. I'm gonna be honest with you. I was I was I was a victim of the propaganda. I was a little oh throwed off. You know what I bought? What about you, gentlemen? Since y'all holding a separate conversation, you know what I bought? Sorry. I bought a di- I, I bought a screw tape. You don't want to know what we were called Y two Gray for the Y two K. Did y'all get freaked out over the Y two K stuff? No, no, they were in the garage it apartment. It made no sense. Like, yeah, it didn't make any sense. Like, literally, were we just, all together for watching? Yeah, yeah, we were. I think I might have. Been we were all in the garage apartment. But like, it's like in America alone, there's time zones, bro. How are you gonna do it at twelve? Yeah. <laughs> that was what I didn't understand, bro. Twelve like, o'clock where in Australia? <laughs> so all over. Or the was world, it gonna wait until times, everybody bro. was in two thousand and then blow up? Like when was when was twelve o'clock? Gonna well, work? Japan and Australia hit the day before. That's what I'm the See, Mayans it's... didn't even know the Spanish were coming. <laughs> so. I didn't trust them in the first place. And bringing disease, right? <laughs> they didn't even know that. <laughs> but they knew that 2,000 But they years knew, later, yeah, stop it. Go oh, yeah. No, they were just like, you know what? 2,000 years is enough. That's enough, yeah. At that point in time, we'll reach, reset. like, when we get, to, if we make it to 1995, then we'll start a new calendar. Is that also why nobody cared about 2012? Because remember, it was supposed to happen then. Some people did care what? about 2012. They had a whole movie that's about that. that. Yeah, some people did care about 2012. They had a whole movie about that. I know, I know people were more concerned about 2000 than they were exactly. 2012. What people don't understand is these numbers are arbitrary. They mean very little. It's just the way that certain people decided to understood time as it relates to the earth. I blame it on, on Prince. But that's not the same time. No, Prince, Prince just capitalized on Prince Rogers. <laughs> Prince Rogers Nelson. Nelson, yeah, he was like two thousand zeros, and folks was like, "Oh my God!" <laughs> I saw an interview about with Morris Day talking about that, and he said Prince just wanted to make a pop song with a catchy uh, hook. hook, and just <laughs> and that's what and it that's was. What it was huh? <laughs> I was dreaming when I wrote this. Like, Excuse me if 
He was like, I don't even know what he say. What he say? Prince is also a Jehovah's if Witness. If I too wrote bad. too fast, Prince so is no going longer too anything. Fast. Well, Prince was a Jehovah's Witness <laughs> at that point, so and he was inspired by. You don't know up he's way. witnessing Jehovah. So right he now. knew. So so he already had probably in times prophecy problems anyway. He could be witnessing. I do know he's not witnessing Jehovah. I don't know. See, we gonna see. We see. He gonna make me make you do it, Amon. Yeah, he he gonna make me. How you don't know? <laughs> Because people still think people are in heaven right now. So how you don't know? Yeah, people also think that things can die and arise after three days and remove a stone. And, and All right. So what we were <laughs> talking about yeah. was the latest Edge Pen 300 from Texas. Huh? Where I see that the number two player is the quarterback from Duncanville, Texas. So I was like, man, that dude is cold. He's going to UT, I see. I watched him on TV. No, you didn't. didn't. And that's what Amad let me know, that I was actually watching a dude who played eighth grade football last year. You were watching a 14, 15-year-old do what he did yesterday. And that what kid he do? Who awesome. looks spectacular. What did he do? He threw uh, some phenomenal he passes. Some he dimes. showed poise. That's what they call it now, yeah. man. Dying some How tall presents, is he? You know what I'm saying? How tall is he? He's probably, I, I, I think they listen to him at 5'10", 5'11", right now. But, you know, he's going to grow gonna a couple inches. He's going to grow. He's youngster. He he's, hopes. He's oh, yeah. Hopefully. That's tall enough to make it to the I league. I was going to say, if not, he'll change his turn. Hopefully, he'll yeah. still make it. 5'10", you know? no, 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 no. I don't know if that's tall enough. Uh, what do you think Russell Wilson is? He's listed at six feet. Baker yeah, he's Baker. listed at that. <laughs> Kyler Murray's listed at 5'10", so he's 5'8". Five five and a half. <laughs> so he's 5'9 <five, laughs> and a half. Man, 5'10 is a little difficult. I've stood next to Robert Griffin, and I could have swallowed him. So Whoa. you can play in the league. Pause. <laughs> pause. <laughs> that was a hard pause. Yeah, pause. Too. Hard pause. That was a hard pause. I didn't mean it like that. Hard pause. Yes, indeed. So I those of you who don't know, it was a wonderful weekend here in <laughs> Texas, man. We had the state. That used the Texas football state play. Well, how do they say it? UIL, Texas state football. No. Yeah, UIL. What is it called? UIL state, state championships. Championship. championships. Yeah, that's it. There we go. Uh, the Houston area team showed out, man. We had uh, 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 Shadow Creek. Shadow Creek, yeah. Bring their state title home. In their second year of varsity football. In their second year of varsity football. After losing last year, they redeemed mm -hmm. their loss. What, what, what's, what, what school are they taking from? Because how did they Manville. Happen? Who are they taking from? Manville and Pearland. Ah, okay. But they're taking kids mostly from Manville. Yeah, because you remember a few Imagine years ago. they never built that school and Manville had all those kids. Remember a few years ago, Pearland was, was a powerhouse out there. Manville has been pretty cold lately as yeah, well. Yeah, Manville's always been good. Manville right. puts out a few people. And then uh, we had Marshall. Yeah, I, Marshall come up a little short. Yeah. Marshall came up short. Um, they played way better than last year, but they still. They did. And coaching. They, they returned there. Blocking and tackling. Second year <laughs> in a row. It's called football. See, Adari, I hate that you didn't see that game because I told you last week or the week before about Alito's offensive line. I was you did? Say, yes. Alito and if Thomas. you would have seen, you would have loved that because there's no 300. It's not like North Shore. You don't have too many 320 pounders out there. North you got a bunch of kids that's out. probably six feet to six three, two fifty so like to two seventy. The old Navy offensive lineman. The yeah, old I mean Navy they just fire lineman. off the ball, man. And, and the offensive line the way, coach, huh? the offensive line coach, he's had three straight sons play there, and all of them got multiple rings. Wow. <laughs> so up. Uh, and Shout out to the Browns. They were all quarterbacks. Shout out to the Browns. All three of the last three quarterbacks were the offensive line what coach's Browns? son. Peter's sons, his youngest son, who won him a second state title. No, rest so in peace. So now both of his sons have now have state titles from rest, North Shore. Rest oh, in peace good. to Mr. Brown. Uh, Cameron, the oldest one. I don't know where Cameron's playing, currently playing. Isn't he, he in Abilene Christian or something? No, I think he was in Kingsville. Mm. He's somewhere. Yeah, I know he's nearby. But, uh, yeah, he won his state title. And then the youngest one. Well, yeah, what's the youngest one's name? I don't know. I forgot. Dang, he's playing football? It's his second state title. What you mean is he playing football? Uh, I, yeah. I didn't know he was one to play football. Yeah, so, uh, so yes, North Shore was the other Houston area team uh, who brought home a state title. So, Houston area went two for three. They went back to Two back. Two out of three. Back to back. back yes, to back. North Shore has gone back to back. And, uh, you know, me and still they got being a big in the Yake Circle. Next year. In the Yake Circle, there has been quite a debate on whether the North Shore team, the North Shore teams are better than the 85. Wait, <laughs> which North Shore <laughs> team? That means we clearly know. I don't know. The one with uh, 
D.D. Hardeman and all them, they were pretty tough. They didn't win the state title, though. They don't have to. They were pretty yeah, tough. Yeah, they did. They, so they, have yes, they have to win. What do you... Oh, here we go. No show won the state title after sending the best player in the country. Home. This is true. Yeah. This is true. Uh, Home. Some may debate that the best player in the country actually well, plays yes, quarterback. Well, the best senior allegedly in the country. Who is pretty cold? Zachary Evans, I believe. Is yeah, something Zachary like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, number been, one recruit. They been, been, debate that that quarterback might be better than him. Yeah, but he's a junior. He's just, yeah, he's a little young. He'll be back he's, next year. <laughs> He's got, like, I can definitely man, say I can definitely say that the offense is definitely in his favor. The quarterback, I but mean, the coach makes sure. Like they look, and the play of the game was not the quarterback. Yeah, the play of the game was the, the wide receiver. But they look, hey, they I'm look like Robbie. men out there. Yeah, like, big they boys, look like that. Like yeah. you're saying, their line is, and their D line is. Yeah, they it's look, not as they, big as it used to be. They look like men amongst they boys. They really like do them. look like men amongst boys. So it's not I mean, so in Duncanville, but I mean, how's Scarborough was, supposed to survive in that? When you get up to that, <laughs> that's the thing. <laughs> how are we supposed to survive in that? Y'all better go get them and, players and, from Ike. Well, Scarborough's four A, so they don't have to survive. Those in that. are yeah. our players <laughs> at Ike. I was gonna say, when's the last time? Bring. When's the last time you seen Ike in the playoffs? Uh, the last time, well, no, Ike was in the playoffs this year. The they playoffs just haven't been that deep. Yeah, they ain't been nowhere close to that they Ike. That yeah. They ain't been that Ike in a long time. But that's cool. That yeah, y'all didn't stop time. going. Ike, come on, Scarborough. It's a revolution. Yeah, yeah. If you want to go to the systems analyst program? There you go, exactly. to Scarborough. What if you want to play football, don't go there. If you want to be on a UIL state-renowned debate team, I give you that. I give you that. Go to Scarborough. That, 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 that's not no longer. Oh, that's not no, no longer, longer either? R.I.P. Mike Payne. Oh, yeah, man. man. So uh, what is Scarborough offering, sir? Systems it's analyst. Bro, you got the, you're going to make some money coming out the yeah, program. Yeah, it's a big now, program, bro. like, for real. You're going to make some money you're out the program? you going to make some bread coming out the program. Doing yeah. what? Systems, Systems analyzing. analyst. Not doing System football analyst. or any kind of sports in general as of yet. But that's going to change, bro. How is that going to change, sir? It's cyclical. Uh, it just seems like a... 50-year cycle right now. There was never a cycle in at Scarborough. Thank you, Mama. Aaron Brown. What do you mean cyclical? No, but what does he mean cyclical, though? We we made the playoffs. There was never a time. We had recruits going out to colleges and stuff. It comes back around. Come back around the way. It's got to come there first. It's one point. (laughs) Come back around. (laughs) This is true. It has to be around first, right? I'm just saying. (laughs) It can come back to Yates. For those that it can't it, come back, Scarborough. Oh, we we're working on it. We so, working on it. So now I got to go to the history book. Oh, please pull it out, bro. Don't do that to yourself. Cause I'll say you gonna hurt yourself. All I said was made to play off. But let's I talk about it, man. So Zachary, Zachary Evans. Evans was sent home before the state game due to a dispute over a cell phone in the locker room. In the locker room. So now I've already heard several people. Uh, positions on this. Uh, some are saying, "Man, that is the microcosm of high school right now." What you mean? Cell phones. It, it definitely can draw a lot. Look, you definitely got to draw a line in the sand with your students, man. And no, and, and the crazy part is, a fight subject to come with it about it. The line is, "Do what you do. I'm a failure." That's the line. That's that's your line. That's what you give them. That's that's all teachers' line. Well, see, luckily I deal with a little bit younger age, so it's not much of a battle. In fact, they're still scared of us right now. So you say, "Give me your phone," and they give you the phone. Now in high school, I I imagine it's not quite that simple. It's a fight that comes with. But uh, many people, I've seen many people's positions talking about. uh, Um. You know that was the right thing to do. Yeah, I've seen other folks. It was too much. I've seen other folks say that was a bit uh, dramatic, a bit drastic. And uh, I mean, what was he doing? Was he playing like music while the man was talking? No, coach said no cell phones. No cell phones in the locker room. This all the things. Only thing I find is Zach Evans suspended okay. three games. Guess what, coach? Into an altercation yeah. with his teammates and cussing out his coach. Coach said that's the real issue. On the team. Wow, how did this go so south with him? So now it poses the question because this is how many suspensions for him? Two or three. Well, it doesn't. I mean, of course, now his high school career is over. But that has been what the third suspension this season, right? 
and he's still and that's what they say yeah the third suspension this season and then and then for the state semifinal he couldn't play the first half for another infraction all right so it, it poses the question uh because oh, back, looking oh. at looking at his history how successful do we anticipate this year how successful do we anticipate this young man to be at the next level because if he remains continues to be as uncoachable as he appears to be uh, you know, we all have, we've all seen the story of the, 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 the superstar who comes home prematurely. Uh, not over no cell phone, though. Right. So, per reports, <laughs> five-star <laughs> recruit Zach Evans didn't want to give up his phone during phone check at the team hotel and had an attitude with the coach. As a result, he will miss the state champion. Phone check. <sighs> That sounds at the hotel though. You gonna check my phone the night before, bro? I mean, God, yeah, dang, because he know man. it's a phone curfew. Because I he know I would say it's a phone stay up all That's night the on their thing, phone, but and he phone wants curfew. him to go to sleep. And if you truly up there, yeah, don't forget why you're there. You're there for that's a business trip. You up there to take care of business. Um, you're not up there on vacation. My business is already because I guarantee care. you, right after the game, guess what they did? Loaded up the bus and came home. My uh, business has already been taken care of. I am number one recruit in the country. Basically, yeah, he is pretty much done. <laughs> and he won state last year, so what's the My business is done. I mean, uh, no, that's, that's your business, As coach. the head coach, that's that your is business. something it's that not the head really coach has mine. to do. It's none of mine, really. Right. You have got to draw the line in the sand because that dude has clearly already stepped out of your door. And you've got to control these 50 other players, 40, 35 of which, 25 of which will be back next year. And are literally looking and seeing him ruining the team. Not ruining the team. Well, he ain't ruined ruin nothing. But just bucking what I'm saying. If you're cussing out the coach, you're definitely not respecting me. You're not listening to me. And that's something that's that you the check whole that team, team can't though. do. That's uh, when you check that I don't think he wants no, to check Man, look, oh, so you a man now. You ready to handle me like no, you a man? You Let do. me handle you like you a man. Uh, <laughs> Chin check. Okay, first There's off, I don't way. think the coach wants to be arrested. Yeah, that would be bad. He's still young. Second, I don't think that coach and wants to get arrested. According his... to them, they sound like he would be a co- uh, 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 what was it? What would it be called? Uh, uh. A cold. Conspirator? No, not conspirator. What is it when, when the two parties are fighting? Uh, I'm going blank. I'm going blank. Uh, that's called a fight. <laughs> <laughs> a feud? You know what? Never mind. Whatever. <laughs> a disagreement. I'm saying so. So, Plus, as a coach, you have to do that. You have is to it co-combatants? Is that what I'm looking for? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Co-combatants. That's another way to say it. Co-combatants. Okay. I don't think that he looked like the type. He'll fight back. Who? But no, you Zach. just the dude wants to be grown. That don't you want mean to be grown, he ain't gonna get knocked we gonna, out. We're gonna have you grown. No, nah, you're absolutely guy. right. When you're we're in a position, use you till I don't need you no more, and then I'm gonna send you home. <laughs> you're absolutely when you're in a position of leadership, though, you cannot stoop really to that white level. man. You cannot stoop. And to they that still want to stay. Really, white man, you gonna hey, use me too? Hey, I can't. You want to be grown? Play right. grown, bro. This might be this your is last. What we actually I'd call like, life. I'd be like, this might be your last. But so now, D, because I mean, you were saying, you know, you actually. You actually have a source that is close to the situation yeah. in the East. And you were saying Mr. that. East side himself. Yeah. <laughs> you were saying that. Uh, he is. Uh, he has been, let's just say, enjoying his fame and has not necessarily been the best or the nicest person since he has become. The best running back. Why state. did you get so politically correct all of a sudden? I'm just saying because I'm, I'm just letting you know what I'm hearing. I don't know anything firsthand. From what right. I'm hearing, he has been getting into it with people over there. He walks around as if his stuff doesn't smell, which, I mean, I'm the number one crew in the nation. Kind of understand somewhat, but you can't be mean and rude to people, which apparently he also is mean and rude to people. And so, high school kids are mean and rude. And high school it. people are mean and rude. So would they he be? Would he be one of those Seven. kids that would probably be would probably improve with 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 a, a change of environment, or would or or, we or should we suspect? Earlier, I sh would. I'm not sure. I would definitely think he needs to get out. Change of environment can't be bad for him. I'm not sure if he is so far down the line where he is already 
in the place where as soon as he gets to the next spot, he will already feel entitled and thus will act entitled. And not that LSU. Ain't no way he's going to feel like He's going that. into, he will be a small fish in a big pond at I the next know. step. He is not no, going to be the he's star gonna, player at he LSU. Texas, he is going to be one of others. He's going to LSU. They are stealing they, recruits they, from Alabama. They, they are stealing recruits no, from Clemson. I'm, they ain't the running back at LSU. That's only because I don't know his name. That's okay. not fair. No. It's not because he didn't <laughs> perform. It. It's not because he didn't perform this year. I mean, he performed this year. I know, year. but you don't know. I don't know his name. It's, it's, it's hyphenated. I know that much. No. His but name you know, is hyphenated. You know the quarterback's Geis. name? It's That's Geis. the receiver. No. Geis is the receiver. It's something it's junior. No. It's Guys. G-U-I-S-S-E. That's the running back. He's, he's like little... Little uh, number twenty two. Yeah, he's like that little. dude's name is hyphenated. I don't know his name, but it's hyphenated. And he's like, uh, he's got a dad and a stepdad that come that are very involved. Yeah, that are very involved in his life. Okay, whatever. Clyde Edwards, hell yeah. Yeah, that's hyphenated, ain't it? <laughs> yeah. Whatever you ain't know. What? But I just don't remember his name. I I watched him play well no, all you year. You watched him play, and you would watch this this running but back you know play the quarterback, well too. But what we're saying is I he know, can't he can't come in there he can't come in there now, thinking he's, he's the Heisman Trophy winner. Uh-huh. he can't come in there thinking that he's entitled to anything not at LSU. I mean, if he performs, not anywhere technically because that's going to be his problem. That's going to be the reason if he performs. Down. Well, now you can do it at certain schools. You well, might no, do that you at can't Kentucky. come in there thinking that, or you're going to act that way. If you act that way, you're going to continue doing the same ish that got you suspended in high school where they literally love you. Hello. Where they literally worship you, the ground you walk on. Hello. And that boy sent you home. Vincent Young. What does that mean? Vincent did, certainly didn't go on that thing and he was entitled. He went to the Tennessee. Well, yeah, he that's did. different. He was the man in Tennessee. But he also had, he also, <laughs> sure he was the man in Tennessee. See what I'm saying? But he also went And I'm sure he went to UT Tennessee. entitled. <laughs> or a young black quarterback. So that had something to do with it as well. And man, don't do that to my homeboy. I'm just saying. This is nowhere close to the same. Although Vincent did get in quite a bit of trouble in high school. Mm-hmm. Now that, that I think about it. <laughs> now that I think about it, he did but get Ricky in quite Williams a bit of trouble in high school. would literally get away with murder. No, he no let me not slander. Uh, I was going right? say, <laughs> no, nobody got away with murder. Nobody got away with away murder. With, he would do. He let me put. Ricky Williams was able to do things that the regular student was unable to do. Uh, at UT, are they really all regular students? Whoa, what are I, we I'm saying, saying right now? Student. I'm just saying the regular student. Take it for what it's worth. Your nephews might go to do UT. No, they, they won't. No, they they, look, they've made it very clear they're not interested. No, but they won't Tom either. Herman. See, Tom Herman, you got to do better. They have, Look, they're going to be mad at me. They have been. Anyway. Uh, oh, go ahead then. <laughs> anyway. Gig them. Top 10? Yes, indeed. So P- now you are listening to. is top 8. Top 5 even. Top 5 what? Ever. To get in. What? what? To what get in free. Oh, no. Okay, anyway. So, you're listening to the Garage Department. We are here each and every Sunday night from 6 to 7 Central Standard Time. Mm-hmm. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and check YouTube. out our website, thegarageapt.com. You can also hit us up live at 832 413 Two zero one three. Hit us up. Let us know what you think about the Zachary Evans situation. So now, fellas, uh, the NFL playoffs uh, picture has just about solidified. Man, uh, I know. We are, I know somebody got the number one spot. Who is that? The Ravens. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Behind their and it MVP appears, quarterback. It appears that they also have the the league MVP. This is true. You were right this time. This time. I mean, even a broken clock is right two times nah, a day. Nah, nah, this ain't but broke right here. what your daddy used to say? Son. Even the sunshine on a dog's ass. Nah, <laughs> this ain't no dog, though. He going to win more than one MVP. No, nah, nah, I'm not by no means. I, I'm actually very, very 
happy. I enjoy watching Lamar Jackson very much. I enjoyed the game today. I like the way he embarrassed Baker Mayfield, and he also made me validated me being right. Shout out to Dr. Trey, Trey uh, who, again, scoffed at me when I said that Lamar Jackson was better than Baker Mayfield. Anyway. Uh, Man, he was on fire when he threw that touchdown at the half. Right before the half. Yeah, he he he. he that put was it, a pretty nice move. He put it on them balls. He Who, put it Baker? on them balls. No. Uh, Lamar Jackson. Oh, Lamar Jackson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So uh, they leave him in entirely too long. The Texans have sealed up their fourth spot, the fourth place spot. Those uh, sorry, home. sorry Texans. Thanks That's to right. Jameis Winston. Thank you. Thank God for Jameis Winston. Sorry, Woo! sorry Texans. <laughs> Thank God for Jameis Winston. And Ryan Tannehill. And, uh, no, Ryan Tannehill saved him. It's really Mariota that put him in that hole in the first place. But J- J- Jacoby Brisket, he uh, he was supposed to, he was going to be the one. They had it. They had their destiny in their hands. And they lost to the Texans and then lost to... T.Y. Hilton didn't in play. Yeah, Who? T.Y. Is that the same person as T.Y. Hilton? I said T.Y. Hilton didn't play. I said Hilton, but it's all right. Winnie Hutton, baby. Winnie Hutton. Oh, man. Anyway, uh, what else? Uh, uh, the Baltimore Ravens have solidified uh, home field advantage throughout the playoffs. Yep. Which is going to be a problem. For Voodoo. who? Who is it going to be a problem for? for everybody. everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be, everybody else. It's going to be cold. It's going to be snowing. Gonna be cold. They're gonna be able to play so you don't think the Patriots can go in there and knock them off? Nope. The ball. They have no athletes on their Patriots. squad. They lost me my fantasy. I'm sorry, mother. Patriots have no athletes on their squad. You 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 sound as if you're a little upset. Oh, sir. I'm still upset. That was last week, <laughs> and I'm still. Oh, high, I remember bro. that. You yeah. can't be more upset than me. I lost by half a point. I disagree. Because guess who did not lose by half a point? And so my defense gave care. me negative seven points. If I'd have just gotten negative six points, I'd have won the game. Yeah. <laughs> well, my number two overall pick or three overall pick. Well, I don't know what it was. Julian Edelman. That was your number two overall pick? Yeah, that's where you went wrong. That's where pick. you went wrong. Probably my number three overall pick, though. You see your number three overall this pick? Man had, this man averaged no less than 10 targets almost a game. This man would literally put up 90 to over 100 yards every game this week, this year, that's until when... the semi freaking finals and in his league they finals. get you like 500 points somewhere. that's when josh gordon was still on the team it didn't matter uh, it would be anybody on the team nah, it didn't matter he was in his st- nah, <gasps> nah, the man. next week i understand this week, your the frustration because i had tom brady the brother. man went tom brady threw for damn near 300 yards this week <laughs> this Last week, week exactly this week barely put Last up 200 week he didn't help you at all he barely didn't, the, the la- the, no no yards, the last six weeks of the season he didn't help me at all the last eight weeks of the season, the man is literally in the top, uh, the bottom fifteen, the bottom ten of quarterbacks. Tom Brady is forty. I had to old. play. I had to play Daniel and Jones he's leaving. and and Ryan Tannehill, and they both outplayed him those weeks. Yeah, Ryan Tannehill uh, saved him in another league. Yeah, Ryan Tannehill. <laughs> he's the new quarterback for the Tennessee Titans. The Mariota experience in. So help. where does Mariota go now? Well, Back to Hawaii. He's a backup. Back to a well, one. No, next year they're gonna compete. Jacksonville, maybe they're gonna they compete, compete for the position. Oh, competition brings Tannehill. out the best of everybody. I'm not, I'm, I'm not competing with you, sucker. What? I just took your job. Why I gotta compete with you? First off, because that ain't his call. He gonna I compete. I came in and I was your backup. I outperformed you in practice. Outperformed you in the game, and now I gotta sit here and compete with you again, coach. I got a problem. Where's hey, my agent? that's how it works. Where's buddy? my agent? Hey, if those two are competing Where's for a agent? job, Jets, you need to a quarterback. Start, my agent? To start, Jacksonville's gonna be. I mean, Tennessee, Jacksonville, yes, Tennessee. I'm gonna say Tennessee's gonna be trash. Well, they're gonna be trash if those two are they competing for a job. They said that Henry this is, year. Derrick Henry they are trash. Is Right nice. now, they are the sixth seed. Thank you. Why you brought that up? Right now, they are the sixth seed currently in the AFC. It'll be one, and will be bounced. Well, they're, they're just they're just filler. Well, they might be playing the Texans. No, they won't. 
They might be. Nah, they are. Don't do that. Yeah, uh, don't get nervous. Really I'm not no, nervous I'm at just all. Saying, I'm trying to get us to. A, I would not be a nationally televised. Everybody, game. <laughs> and us against the Tennessee Titans would not be. A well, let's go. It's the playoffs. Tele- it's gonna be no, nationally it's televised. It's gonna be Saturday though, bro. Hey, hey, hey guess what? Saturday. What are you playing in the wild what? card lit round anyway? Guess what? And guess what? When, when the Texans usually win on Saturday, not on Sundays. Yeah, that was on Saturday. So why am I worried? National TV. Uh, I mean, yeah. So, Derrick Henry does nothing against the Texans. So as of right now, they have it as the Ravens, Patriots with the Bucs. Like, the, the, right. oh. the Titans versus the Chiefs. Right. Oh, they are going to get the blown Bills out. Bills versus the Texans. Right. Uh, that's the AFC wild card round. The NFC would be the Niners and the Saints with the bye. I told you the Saints uh, got the lead the right Vikings now. Don't have the they Packers. just won to get, but they don't have the number two seed. The Vikings and the, the, yeah, they currently do. they have the number. There's like still they there's still more weeks, but there's uh-huh. one more week, and Green yeah, Bay correct. has to play this week. I know we play still. Monday. What's yeah. the key? At? What's X and Y mean? X so means you clinch the playoff. Yeah, X. Yeah. Y so, means you, but not the home field advantage. Right. Yeah, they ain't got the Z on there, so yeah, they ain't clinched that yet. But apparently neither is the Niners either. No, no the Niners have it. Okay. The Niners can either be the sixth seed or the number the one Niners, seed. That's the crazy. Vikings versus the Packers and Seattle versus the Cowboys as of right now. The Niners play Seattle seventeenth game. I mean, yeah, they play them next week, last game of the season. So the Vikings and the Packers are in the same yes. division. So if, if why if, would they get two and the NFC West would get two? Because, because they the have South better records. Because that's the way, yeah. I was going to say, because the, the NFC South, South sucks. If it wasn't the for the South Saints. Who's the second place team in the South? Hell, I don't Carolina? know. Carolina? It Atlanta? needs to be Tampa Bay, Carolina, Atlanta. 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 All of them got losers. And they right? six and nine. Atlanta? Is Atlanta second? Uh, Carolina sucks. See, this is Eagles. why you need to get rid of the Oh, no. Divisions. Tampa Bay. The Tampa Eagles Bay. Tampa Bay is the second seed. The Eagles are the only ones in the hunt. And they're seven and seven. This is why you need to get rid of divisions. Who's winning that game, by the way? The Eagles are winning seventeen and nine. Thank you. There's no reason for the divisions. This is why the divisions and the AFC, are so you've got the stupid. Steelers still able to make it. The Raiders still able to make it. Ooh, and Steelers made it hard on themselves today. The Cleveland Orange Browns still exactly. able to make it. There's no reason for divisions, man. I mean, I mean, you got you got you, you, you kind of want to reward division. teams for beating yes for winning their division. No, you. But don't. I do understand no that when you have teams who have played better than other division winners, and and yeah, they got to go on the road I saw and go all these play. Texas fans on Facebook yesterday <laughs> celebrating like they actually won a real championship. Yeah, you yeah. haven't won a championship. No, in football, yeah, exactly. you do. That's the not a championship. Is all you need to win. No, it's not if like you a win district the division, in high school you're football. Playing in the playoffs. Well, yes. If you play in the playoffs, you got two games, and that's all it takes. Even if you don't that's deserve it. That's all it takes. But you, no, not if you're just a division winner, because you might be the no, fourth or the, the fifth seed. I, all you got, I'm talking about just to get to the NFC or AFC championship. At that point in time, it's a crapshoot. Who is this Greer dude? At that oh, point in time, that's, that's the uh, dude from Oregon. No, no that's Virginia. the dude from West Virginia. Oh. And then you talk about... Uh, Hot garbage. But that boy McCaffrey still no, went on. I was gonna say, <laughs> is a you piece. talk about Mike Thomas, that boy McCaffrey as a no, running back. Mike Thomas and McCaffrey might be the two best players in the league. No, they're not. What? Okay. Of course, I mean, you got to have your MVP up. Exactly, they're but, not. Oh, well, I mean, quarterbacks don't count. They don't, don't really count because they on a whole, that's a like, whole that's, nother, like, that's a whole nother Rubik that you judge them by. You can't they, judge a quarterback and a running back by the same This man Rubik. has ran almost as many yards as McCaffrey. But he has not run as many yards as McCaffrey. As and almost as, as many touchdowns. Ball, He's more ran more play. touchdowns. The ball is in his hands literally change. every I'm play. So is McCaffrey those, somehow. <laughs> those two people. Apparently so is McCaffrey. That shows how cold he is because somebody got to get him the ball <laughs> when the whole team is saying stop him from getting the ball. <laughs> and they know he getting the ball. <laughs> but Lamar Jackson is cold because he's doing what he's doing and they're all like, okay, only person we have to stop. Is Lamar Jackson. I was telling my, I was talking to my wife watching Lamar Jackson, and today, they can't. And I was like, Lamar Jackson they makes won't. professionals look very unprofessional. He makes them look like they are not professionals. That's the thing. I did not expect him to be the best athlete. How? No, I don't know why you didn't expect that. No, I don't know. Why do y'all listen to these people? The best no, this is my question. In why college, did he... bro? Yes, what? he was. No, no. He, he won a Heisman. You don't remember the Heisman 
Tommy I'm year? Sure, yes, the senior year. Yes. No, his amazing. junior year. His junior, yeah, his junior year. He should have won his senior year as well. Yes. He was amazing. So how does that make you not the best player? But no. Right. Uh, okay. He, let me look. I looked at Reggie Bush, and I looked at him like he is hands down by far severely better than every other college player. But he wasn't, though. Vince Young. Exactly. I Vince Young and said the same thing. He's by far. I looked at Lamar Jackson was like, okay, he's the best player. Lamar Jackson football. was better than Vince Young in college. Oh, uh, stop. I'm go not going to go that far. Why go wouldn't? Home. Look at his stats. That's stats. Uh, that don't mean a totally home. different <laughs> offense. That don't mean nothing. Bobby <laughs> Petrano. That don't mean nothing. No, Louis Bill no, no, offense. No, 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 no. no. Wait a minute. That don't mean nothing. We're no. not going to go that far. We're not going to go that far. We're not going to go You're going to stop the madness. <laughs> You're going to. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Because that's not true. Why is it not true? Because it's not true. Why is it not true? Because it's not true. True. Yeah, it's not true. Why it's not it, true. Uh, Gino Toretta had better passing stats than Vince Young and Kyle. That's like saying Ron Dane was better. No, I'm than not. I'm not talking about even just passing. I'm talking and about he won the a whole thing. Also, Thank you. Know, that's like saying Ron Dane was better than uh, uh, he was. what's my man from San Diego State, Marshall. Marshall, Marshall no, he Fox. wasn't. No, okay, exactly. No, he it's, wasn't. it's blasphemy. But he ran more yards though. So this is true. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, but he had to pass up Marshall Falk to do it. But no, for, uh, no. Nah, okay, let's move on because that's a ridiculous statement. But I mean, yeah, you're not. saying Lamar Jackson is better, better than Vince Young. Yeah, that's not. No, stop it. Why is it not? If you look at the is stats, the NFL? number one, Vince I mean, Young was playing against Big Twelve defenses when at that yeah, time the Big Twelve, the that. big at that this. time the Big Twelve defenses were were actually pretty impressive. You had Bob Stoops and Mike Lamar Stoops. Lamar Jackson there. made Louisville. A number one team in the country. And they didn't win anything it, when they were the number one team in the country. He they couldn't even beat though. U of H. No, they could. They could not beat U of H. Lamar Jackson didn't beat Did U of H. Did not beat U of H. Did Lamar Jackson play against U of H? Yes. No. He played a sophomore, junior, and senior year. Did oh, not beat U of H. Lamar Jackson did not beat U of H. Anywho. <laughs> Uh, this is ridiculous. Lamar Jackson's. The, you Google Lamar Jackson. I, I Google Lamar Jackson versus Vince Young, and the first thing that came up was Lamar Jackson stats. And to the right of it, it has Lamar Jackson's profile. It doesn't say anything about where Vince Young. From. Uh, it says he is from <laughs> Pompano Beach, Young. United States. Six two. His current team is the Baltimore Ravens, where he's the number uh, quarterback and number eight. And his university is Nebraska Cornhuskers, and he was a cornerback <laughs> at the number 21. <laughs> there probably was a dude named Lamar Jackson. <laughs> they played at, at That Nebraska. would be the only acceptable thing, and it still wouldn't be acceptable. Wait, so what website is that on? It is literally, I just Googled it. There's probably it, 2 million people in the Google country response. named Lamar Jackson. I don't know who it is. It has a Wikipedia and several other... You can't trust Wikipedia. Tab. I didn't. Everybody... It's not Wikipedia. I know I'm saying, but you can't trust Wikipedia. I understand, but apparently I can't even trust Google. Yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> On to the next. They merged his record with somebody else. Yeah. Anywho. So now... Because then they correct it later on, so there is definitely a problem. Anyway. Did Oakland win? Yeah. yeah, man, they beat the crap out the Chargers. Oh, well, who had beaten the Chargers? Y'all talking about the Hall of Fame? Uh, Phillip Rivers, uh, Hall Phillip of Rivers? Fame quarterback. Hall of Fame? Rivers? If you call back. <laughs> so maybe the Hall of Fame. Who said it was But then again, you know what? Lamar says Phillip Rivers is a Hall of Famer, so of course Lamar Jackson is better than Vince. I said, I who <laughs> said Phillip Rivers is a Hall of Famer? I said, you said that. Under what pretense? Oh, oh my God! I was gonna say we're not gonna rehash that. that. We're not gonna rehash that. that. D Mac said that. Yeah, yeah DRC did and say. That. I will I mean, come if, back in if you're throwing ten to twelve years and, say, and laugh. Well, he's gonna probably get in. Oh, He'll probably well, get well, in. What's the I mean, whole argument then? You know why he gonna get in? No, because Eli gonna get in. That's what I'm If Eli gets in, he gonna get in because Eli gets in. Boys wanted to bite my head off. Because I said the man was a Hall of Famer. No, you I didn't said say that. he deserved. I said he was going to be in there. And you're right, because you they said. They're all going to be in there. You're right, because it's right. Because of the current era that they play in, their stats are going to be better than everybody's stats. Everybody's. Who's that? Everybody's. They can, but the only stats they're going to be comparable to theirs is going to be Brett Favre and Dan Marino's. Who? Everybody who comes out of this era. Aaron Rodgers. Uh, 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 Drew Eli Brees. doesn't have good stats. Eli actually does have pretty good what, stats. What he got? 
he got a lot of passing yards. He got a couple of five thousand yards. Uh, uh, see, well, maybe not five thousand yards. <laughs> exactly. So what yeah, he I know he got some close. He might have one. He might have one five thousand yards. That season. don't make you a Hall of Famer. You right. Two Super Bowls does. No, that doesn't. Watch. Watch. Oh my this God. boy Vince Young was a beast. Okay, <laughs> so in college, thirty. I don't know how irreparable this is. We're on collegefootballcomparisons.com. Uh, Lamar Jackson, 38 games. Vince Young, 37 games played. Game started, 34. Lamar, 31. Vince wins as a starter. Vince Young had 29. Lamar, 22. Two totally different schools, two totally different conferences. Understand that. Passing, okay. Passing yeah, completions. Lamar Jackson, 619. Vince Young, 444. No, no, no. What about losses as a starter? Read that uh, one. Lost. Lamar Oh, yeah. Wins as a starter. 22 for Lamar Jackson, Vince Young, 29. Losses as Losses a starter. Losses as a starter, 12 for Lamar Jackson. Two. Two <laughs> for, Vince, for Young. Vince Young. And both of them with Oklahoma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so with Lamar, Vince as a Young's, sophomore and a junior. Vince Young's completion percentage was 61.8. Lamar Jackson's was no, 57. No, as a sophomore and a, as a, sophomore and a uh, passing yards, Lamar Jackson, 9,000. Vince Young, 6,000. Passing touchdowns, Lamar Jackson, 69. Vince Young, 44. Touchdown percentage, 6.4. I don't even know what that is. I got to look that one up. Vince Young, 6.1. What is touchdown percentage? I guess that's percentage per of your day? touches that were touchdowns. <laughs> anyway, interception stone. Lamar Jackson, 27. Vince Young, 28. Vince Young threw 28 picks. Yeah, those black quarterbacks love throwing picks. 200 less attempts. Anyway, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I digress. <laughs> Interception percentage is da, 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 da. yards per uh, pass attempt, 8.4, 8.3. They both threw it down the field at least. Yards gained per player. Yards gained per games per played. Game yeah. Play. Lamar Jackson would gain 238 yards for himself. Vince Young would gain 163. Vince Young split a time with Chance Mock for a while. Oh, too, that remember. ain't my fault. <clears throat> man, whatever. Vince Young is two-time <laughs> Rose Bowl MVP. He was the, the – man, stop it. Okay, rushing. Lamar Jackson, 655 rushes attempted. Vince Young, only 457. Rushing yards. Lamar Jackson, 4,000. Vince Young, 3,000. Rushing touchdowns. Lord. Lamar Jackson, 50. Vince Young, 37. Rushing yards per game, 108 for Lamar Jackson, 84.5 for Vince Young. Uh, Look at all those extra attempts anyway. Yeah, then the attempts. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Man, listen. I'm, sorry. No, I'm just saying Lamar Jackson was cold, bro. You yeah, know? he was. He was fantastic. I'm saying, though, no, two losses, as Hadar okay. likes to say. That's all that matters. Two man, losses. You know. And, and he time. lost to Reggie McNeil, did he not? No. When did he lose to Reggie McNeil? And what are you talking about in high school? He didn't even play. They Reggie didn't McNeil play in each high other. School. He lost to. Uh, he didn't lose to college? Austin Westlake. Yeah, he lost to that wide receiver for A and M. McNeil lost before they got. To no, Reggie McNeil beat. I know what game you talking about. He beat Oklahoma. Oh. He did not beat oh. Texas. Oh, when he was in Texas A and M as a freshman. Whatever anyway. happened to him? Where's he? At? He got in trouble. Really? He got in trouble out there in Cincinnati playing with the Bengals. Yeah, he played wide receiver uh, for Toronto. Like, like domestic or like drug it, I, it, it was Hopefully it's drug it don't was, be no It was some stuff going on. He might be back in Lufkin. I don't know. Oh, anyway. Uh, oh, ain't nothing well, we, we back never up. Know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know where he it's, is. So. We'll look it up. Don't worry about yeah. it. Ooh. I do know. Did you see whether or not Lamar Jackson beat U of H? I know he didn't. But well, I'm looking we, here, and his first his first year he didn't know. I know his junior and his I know his junior and his uh, sophomore year he didn't either. His Heisman year he didn't. I know that for certain. Did he even play? Yes, he played. U of H uh, shut him down. Uh, that was his one of his poor games was against U of H. Anywho. So now we're down to the last quarter. We're down to the last quarter, last quarter. So now, fellas, real quickly, uh, also. Uh, Did you see Garrett uh, Jamel Charo. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Regained his. Well, didn't his brother fight last week? Yes. The week before? Yes. You know, this is what they do. Regained his uh, super welterweight title. Uh, with a oh, that's game time. knockout of Harrison, TKO actually. Winning and our buddy lost his. Oh, this is 
to. Somebody lost their belt. They took somebody's belt. Why they do that? Who? Canelo? No, Canelo gave up his belt. Because he didn't want to fight? He, he didn't want to fight Jam- Jamal. Boy. Why? why? Jameer. Jameer. Hey, press cut. I'm sorry. I'm he sorry. Gave up which, one, brother, which one, brother? Which one? Jamal is the middleweight. No, 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 no. But, but Canelo gave up a light heavyweight belt. Yes, he did. Yeah, because he don't want to fight. He no, don't no, want to no, fight no, nobody. He, he yeah, I mean, there's no reason to fight a real light heavyweight. He doesn't like, want to fight. How did he get the belt? Because he won it. He beat uh, Kovalev for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so, was, really. After beating him, there's nobody Light else. heavyweights have never made any money anyway. I mean, it's an intriguing division. Yeah, I mean, but, but Roy Jones, Roy but Jones' big showman. fights were at middleweight. Yeah. Okay, they were. And light heavyweight, once you had uh, the people he got knocked out by. <laughs> Antonio Tarver. Antonio Tarver and Glenn, Glenn Johnson. Glenn Johnson. That's when he went to light heavyweight. But, I mean, you know, that's why guys eat and try to get in the heavyweight. I'm sorry. Real quick. Uh, Reggie McNeil left Cincinnati, went to the Canadian Football yeah, he played League for, for about five years, mm-hmm. retired in 2011. He played wide receiver. Started darts and dimes, a quarterback and wide receiver academy in 2016. Okay. Where is now that? Spends most of his time coaching middle and high school area athletes in the Houston area. Oh, okay. shout out to Reggie McNeil. You'll be hearing from us soon, brother. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Reggie McNeil and Ju Parks. Shout out to Ju Parks too. He was also a Lufkin boy. Went to A and M with him. Anyway, that boy, that high school game was amazing. Which one? The, 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 the one. I, I was able to watch both. I don't know how. I don't know and why. Reggie McNeil was the man. Was he, Reggie McNeil was the one. Coming. Yeah, the game against Westland. Man, that, that quarterback class, that class had Reggie McNeil, Vince Young, and Drew Tate. Remember Drew Tate? Drew Tate. Yeah, Does yeah, anybody Drew remember Iowa. Drew Tate? He went to Iowa. Iowa. That was a big deal yeah, down Drew here. Drew Tate played at Iowa. He killed it. Didn't yep. he go to Michigan, too? No, he nah, went to he Iowa. He went to Iowa. He was started at Iowa for four years. Yeah, man. That was a big quarterback class coming out of here. Was a good Cowboys quarterback lost. for the Calgary Stampede. Now, right? Stampeders. Not really. If you don't even make the playoffs, you still don't fire this man. Who? What Dallas. if they? If that? I Who think they, they did get? that on purpose. They got to get somebody better. Who they got? Jason Garrett's the guy. Freaking Meyer. Urban Meyer ain't trying Urban to Meyer listen. Urban Meyer cannot Meyer. lead men. He's not Back gonna lead men. Up. Urban Meyer. He, so he gonna so he gonna get your special teams coach to can. So you gonna get him to lead men? Yeah. He can barely lead. It's college ball. I mean, I'm not saying he can. It's I mean, just that's a big gamble to give it to Urban Meyer. Game, so he leads them to wins. I don't see Urban Meyer. He's going to be professionals to win. Better because in college, he didn't care about your well-being anyway. Now he doesn't get paid to care about your well-being. But I'm saying All so he's he, paid to do will be to win games, he's which is what lead, he's good at. He's going to lead grown men. He's going to lead grown men. Who's going to lead grown men on the practice my question field is, and the football My field. question is, who's his offensive coordinator? Because he ain't, he ain't inventing all that. Urban Meyer didn't call much of anything. Urban Meyer started the Urban offense. Meyer became who he was because he had outstanding assistant Urban coaches. Urban Meyer was the offensive coordinator in Utah. Yeah. And he made that coach. offense in Utah. <laughs> yes, in Utah. And and that's the same wait, thing that What happened to that quarterback? Not in Florida. What happened to that quarterback? He played double-digit years in the NFL. What are you talking about, that quarterback? It's the same that quarterback? offense that everyone he played, is now running. He played running. a lot of years in the NFL and started you, his entire Alex, time. Yeah, you are Wait, which Smith, one are we talking about? The one from Utah? Alex yeah, Smith. we're talking about Alex Smith. Broke his everything, and it's still going to come back. What, was the, what was the Probably black quarterback, the one that won the Sugar Bowl for him? Brian Johnson? Was that his name? Yeah, he, Brian was. he was from Houston. He yeah, went to he, North Shore. He, yeah. No, he didn't. He went to he from Houston, one of those Cypress schools. Oh, was he humble? It was somewhere up there. It was Northside. It wasn't North Shore. Yeah. Anyway, where is he? Anyway, he uh, was he was name? once Utah's offensive coordinator. That he was. Uh-huh. Yeah, I remember that. Did you see Brian Leftwich is the quarterback coach yes. at Tampa Bay? And moving up fast. Watch out, Brian Leftwich will have a head coaching job within two years. Maybe that's a job for the Cowboys. I guarantee. I guarantee not. This is the NFL. They don't I like guarantee. black quarterbacks. I mean, like he's co- gonna have to coaches. take another black coach's spot. But yeah. <laughs> he's gonna have a head coaching job in two years. So now, let's keep the quote. Because we were going, I was, I was wanting us to get into Garrett Cole. Uh, no, soccer, Racist. soccer and racism. But it's Garrett Cole, it is now time. Oh, we ready? What you trying to put me on the spot? Oh wait, oh, uh, are we no, not doing, doing it? Do the races and doing this. So are we not doing it? What's the quarterback's name? Brian what? Johnson. Johnson. Brian Johnson. Fine, we won't do it. We'll save it for next week. Thank you. We'll save it for next week. Right. So, <laughs> right after. Yeah, right <laughs> after. It's, 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 it's not even had the same impact. Yeah, but anyway. well, I don't want to bum you out before the holiday. Enjoy you your consumerism. Who Our listeners. Oh, well. 
Eh, yeah. Take it from me. Hey, how the Dak Price got a throw for no touchdowns, yo. Threw it ball forty four times. Yeah. At least hey, he didn't throw no interceptions. He didn't throw a touchdown. You may not win the game, but don't lose the game. Uh, Why is he throwing the ball forty four times when you have freaking Ezekiel Elliott? Ezekiel Elliott because he reason. couldn't run the ball. Zeke was out there fumbling. Another reason. No, I Zeke, ain't no, 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 no. They shut him down this week. I, bro, if, he, if the, he, did he get twenty carries? Zeke? When I saw him, he had he had Zeke? six carries for eleven yards. Zeke fumbled the ball, yo. This is a running back we're talking about, right? Zeke fumbled the ball. You do not shut down a running back. My if the question is, back can't get started. Who you you gonna pay Dak now? You pay all of them, and you try again next year. You gonna pay who, thirteen rushes? The wide receiver. You're, you're in a touchdown game. It is a seven point game. How many yards? Thirteen rushes for fifty three yards. No. Who? Thirteen Dak? rushes for forty seven yards. That's, That's not even good. good. So they, no. so they, so they tried it. something different because it wasn't working. Like no no. How many catches Cooper You cannot get? give a running back 10 yards to, I and expect him to, to have 100 yards every time. It doesn't work like that. That is not how running backs work. You know that. What happened? You can't give a running back less than 18 carries on a consistent basis if you want something to happen. Uh, if you might strike lightning in a barrel, and you give him ten carries, and he might give you eighty yards. I think it's lightning in a bottle, but um. <laughs> what did I say? A barrel. Can they not have lightning in a barrel? Nah, it would. Well, how the hell you get lightning in a bottle? <laughs> glass. Because <laughs> glass is a is a uh, 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 wood would conduct and. So burn you gonna up? tell me what I made my barrel out of? Yep. What it, you make your barrel out of? Apparently glass. It can't be a barrel if it's made out of glass. Why? It gotta be wood Why? for it to be so a barrel. So the definition of a barrel is a wood. Cylindrical container? Is that what you're telling me? Please look it up. Well, I will, and I bet you that mother ain't going to say that. <laughs> I mean, you could have it in a... Uh, but, I mean, really, you catch lightning in a bottle. Uh, you could have it in a in a, in a tin barrel, but that but kind no, of I mean, hurt, too. No, 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 I mean, that's the saying, though. Now, you something is easier than shooting crabs in a barrel. I and thought it was fish. No, no. You don't want to be crabs. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Oh, you my shoot God. Fish. What is happening right now? We're in crabs a in a barrel. Which we don't no, want. No, I don't know about we. We oh, are not well. anything. Black people. There you go. That's what no, they say. no. I don't even subscribe to that, sir. I do. No, no, no. I That's do. what they say. No, that no, is what no, is no. attributed. It's but easier than time, shooting time, fish time. in a barrel. No, but first that off, first off, first off. To us. Not that is what I I do. resist the crabs in a barrel thing because when you think about the crabs and they pull things back in the barrel of the crabs. They shouldn't be in the barrels in the first place. They're doing so out of love. Because it's, <laughs> it's a scary world out there. Like, hey, man, come back here with us. You don't know what's out there. Yeah. Why leave us, man? Why leave us? We're a community. Because when you leave, you're not going to come back and lift me out of here. You're not. Y'all sound, not like, back y'all sound like them dudes on the corner. No, that's real deal. <laughs> what corner are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. On the about. block. The, the crabs do so out of love. <laughs> yeah, well, it's your black hair. Going, blanket. going. <laughs> <laughs> you what think you, wanna, you going? What boy? you want to go out there with them for? Yeah, what you think you going, boy? Oh man, go to college. <laughs> we kid, we kid. What? These are jokes. These are jokes. These uh, are jokes. not really. So now, speaking of race, <laughs> <laughs> speaking of race, uh, at the Chelsea match, Chelsea uh, and Tottenham. Uh, London Derby. Yes, Chelsea and London Derby. Uh, help me say his name, please. Toby Alderweireld. Yeah. Uh, Toby. Who is that? That's know, right? Netherlands, I think. His name is no, Kunta. No, no, no. Close. Belgium. Belgium. Anyway, he was he brought to attention that fans were making monkey and gorilla noises. Uh, yeah. They do that everywhere. Right? Towards him. Uh, well, not towards him. Yeah, not towards him. He's Why? Is he white? white? He's a white yes. man. Oh, no. Oh, towards, <laughs> towards, his, towards his teammate. teammate. Yeah. Excuse me. Towards no. his teammate. He's a very white man. And yeah. it was brought to the league's attention. The league, the stadium and the league made announcements. I don't know how much of it actually succeeded anything, but... Well, they actually have a... They have a... Okay, go ahead. I'll let you finish. No, no. My thing well, is... They have, they have a process now. Like, so they have to... I was, it's known they have to make an announcement. Once the announcements happen, they make another announcement. At that point, the referee can literally choose to suspend the match. Uh-huh. All the, the teams go to the locker room. They take a break. If that does not stop it when they come back, they can literally kick everybody out. Okay. Game Here's my question. Back. I have not gone to a soccer match before. Not overseas, at least. I know these two have. 
Oh, you mean, okay. Never what do they say, the soccer players in the Big Four time? Ahmad may not know. He always late. <laughs> <laughs> See, look at that crab. Look at that crab throw that shade. <laughs> Boy, look at him throw that shade. What do they the say when they, when they have the, the, the prejudice Five talk? Minutes. When they have the prejudice. What do you mean? Talk. What do they say? <laughs> we get I mean, what? They're not happy about it. <laughs> no, no. They kick when, racism out of football. No, yeah. they, 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 they pick one star to go up there and be like, "Please stop calling people uh, in words. Don't throw bananas out there." That brings me to my point, though, because I was going to say it appears. Well, I don't know. I mean, it, you know, all the leagues handle it differently, but it appears that this league is actually doing what they can to try to eradicate this. Well, it's England, it's, and, yeah, this is England. and see, in England, back in the 70s and 80s, when you first started having black players play in England, it was a huge problem. Uh, but it's, it's a much rarer occurrence in England than it is uh, in other countries like Italy and Perhaps Spain right Italy, now. Perhaps Italy, where... <laughs> I don't know if everyone can see. Yeah, Italy's about the worst. As Italy far as the has a non-racism campaign. Yeah, with some monkeys. In which case, they chose to use monkeys. monkeys. Yeah. Actually, those are apes. Their, those are apes. Um, yeah. Chimpanzees. As their uh, those are apes. As a artist, or as they, what, what would it be? As a, I don't know, their figurehead for the non-racism yeah, like campaign. Yeah. Can't say spokesperson. And do not understand why they Is have. Is that not tone deaf? What should we call it? <laughs> I saw a tweet a few. Weeks ago, probably a month or so ago, where on the front page of the leading newspaper in Milan, it said Black Sunday. And under the picture, it had Roma and Inter Milan, two soccer teams. Mm -hmm. The heads of those, or the best players, let's say, for those were a black man, for Inter Milan and a black man for Roma. So they Domingo had both Negro. black people on there. And it said Black Sunday. Negro Domingo. Italy <laughs> is the worst place. Well, I'm not going to say worst place. The well, no, worst, no, no. Amongst the big four, largest, the worst place. Largest, yes. Large place mm -hmm. for any African American. Not big, even big African American. For black people to make money playing soccer. Well, because I mean, they are racist yeah. and they are open about it. And the culture does not shy away from it. As a whole, the government is not shying away from it. The soccer culture as a whole is not shying away from it, which is the opposite of what's happening in Britain. So why do the players continue to go? Because you get uh, street dollars. cash, and homie. So what's the so? And I mean, for me, for and they're me, not going nearly as many times as, the, yeah, as they yeah, used yeah. to. Yeah, in Italy. In Italy, you don't have very many uh, Africans or, or black players at all going. You don't have any black European players going to Italy. Most of them were born there. Yeah, most of yeah, and uh, but 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 see, things are changing, and they're going to have to change. Well, what have what to. Because Balotelli. okay, remember Balotelli? Balotelli's getting killed at home. Yeah, well, see, Balotelli plays in uh, he, in France. He plays in France now. Yeah, so uh, he's kind of left it, and France is a little bit better. Italy is by far the worst. <laughs> a little bit better. No, no, it is. But Balotelli is Italian. Yeah, he, right. yeah. I well, don't know that. Yeah, yeah. he's Italian, and he, they threw bananas at him they for playing for their in national team. Right. When he game. was playing for their national team. But, but I'll tell you this. <laughs> I was watching the Under-17 World Cup this year, right? And Italy had three, count them, one, two, three black starters on their Under-17 World Cup team. Yeah. So the thing is, the world is getting smaller. And you're not going to be able to stop the bum rush. This is not going to be something that goes on forever. Now, the thing about Italy is there was a situation in the – there's a club called Sampdoria, right, which is in uh, – uh, oh, Jesus. Come on. Right, it's yeah. in Verona, Italy. Okay? And uh, their fans had racially abused another player for another team. And one of their black players scolded the fans. They wrote an editorial in the paper – but hey, man, you have a sense of humor. When we make monkey noise, it's like saying a dude's got a fat ass. It's wow. the same thing. It's, it's no difference. We don't mean anything it's by the monkey noises, bro. It's crazy. It's, it's just, you know, accepted. you got a big head. You know? <laughs> so, they don't see a problem with it. Yes, indeed. We have to leave it there. Once again, you are listening to the Garage Apartment. We are here each and every Sunday night from 6 to 7 Central Standard Time. No days off. Be sure to check us out. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
and check out our website, thegarageapt.com. We appreciate you guys checking us out, man. Y'all have a wonderful week. Merry, happy holidays to each and every one of you and whatever it is that you celebrate. Man, be good. If you can't be good, then be good at it. Man, y'all stay blessed. Until next time, we'll holla. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. Or whatever makes you happy. Follow the Garage Apartment on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Brand new tweets, photos, videos, hashtags. Let me show you something real quick. Follow me on social media. And subscribe to the Garage Apartment Radio on YouTube.